Hey guys, you guys came here to download Spotty DL. Um, for those who don't really know who, what that is, it's a program that downloads songs um, from Spotify. Um, if you want to basically put it on your iTunes, um, this tutorial is definitely for you. Um, Alright, let's get started. The first thing you're going to need is the iTunes. So in the description below I'm going to put um, all of the links to everything that you need for this tutorial now when you click on the link you're gonna open up to a page like this wait for the five seconds on the top right until it says skip ad to so skip your ad and then it's going to open to the link that you wanted to go to. So for iTunes, um, of course, if you are a PC user like me, um, you're going to need to download the either 64 or 32. Um, they should automatically let you know which one that you actually need. Um, so just click the download link there. Um, after you install that, um, you're going to need to download Spotify. Um, now I gave a description already now I um, have both Spotify and Spotty DL put in a zip file for you guys so all you need to do is click on the link below that lets you know which um, um, Spotify and D and Spotty DL you're gonna wait for those five seconds again and it will open to Mediafire and Mediafire will then have a pop-up here um, and you just click download and it should automatically um, you can put it anywhere you want and it should automatically pop up and tell you to uh, and you know save it and whatnot now over here um, once you open it up, make sure you have uh, WinRAR or Zip um, 7 Zip. Um, if not, um, Google it and figure it out. You're going to install Spotify first and then Spotty DL after. Um, it really doesn't matter which one you do first, but I would recommend to do the Spotty Spotify first and then uh, Spotty DL. Um, after you install that, you want to open. Um, your Spotify first and then you want to open um, your Spotty. Now these are all the songs that I already had downloaded and some um, like this one and and a few others uh, like here and here right here see no result when I press to download these songs uh, they did not go through now I'm going to show you in a second how to actually get that to download. Um, so first thing you want to do is go to your preferences. Um, if you have these checked, um, launched um, at startup, um, unclick that. And then also um, you want to go to the bottom here and it should say don't try to download not pop uh, popular enough songs you want to uncheck that because then if the song's not popular they won't let you download it and to my you know knowledge I don't think that is even that makes any sense like if I want the song I want the song so anyway now you go down to the recording area the mp3 and you can leave it on zero highest or you can put leave it um, at recommended um, also, you could do this here as well. Uh, lame default first, okay quality, blah blah blah, that type of stuff. I put the highest quality because I I love quality. So now, um, in order to start your downloads and or e even drag your files and whatnot that you want to download from Spotify, um, go to your Window Explorer and go down to your music and you can create a folder here a new folder and and I like I did I put Spotify music downloads 
and then as you see these are all the songs that I already downloaded from playlist or individual songs that I wanted um, now you make that folder and you go back into your spot of your spotty DL and you click on that folder and it will open up like here it would it will automatically be um, it will automatically be like here it would automatically be empty so I'm gonna just clear this some stuff out for you um, so okay now what you want to do is go to your go to your um your Spotify and you can put any song you want um let's see uh, we'll do Jay-Z right top result Jay-Z now you can do a whole album or you can just do individual songs um I'm going to take Holy Grail and mm -hmm. I'm just going to drag it in. Okay? You just drag it in. Now, okay. So, now that we have Holy Grail in here, um, you can either, either record it or you can just download it. Sometimes it works with the downloads and sometimes it don't. So first we're going to check it out, see if it downloads it. See now, see this one in particular is downloading correctly. In a few, I'm going to show you how to actually download the song if it says like the, uh, like, well that one's going to download, but like it says here, right here, get bent, fall down by Savo, no result. That one, I'm going to show you in a few seconds. Okay, we're back. And um, mm -hmm. as you can see, um, my Jay-Z, Holy Grail, has downloaded. And this only will happen if you have Spotify open with the Spotty DL. Um, mm -hmm. Now, if you want to view it, because automatically it goes into the folder that you um, put your... Um, that you've that you've selected. So right now I have selected Spotty Music Download. I can easily just go to my um, my music and go to Spotty Downloads and Jay Z Holy Grail. See is right there, um, and I can preview it here. You take the clothes off my back and I let you. You steal the food right out my mouth. All right. So now as you can see it works or if you're on spotty D, um, DL you can right click on the file and you can go to show in um, Explorer or you could show in Spotify um, most likely you're going to actually want to show in your Explorer and it will automatically open your file folder and highlight it to show you that it is in your folder that you've selected um, and then you can preview it again if you want or not. Now, most people are having issues with some individual songs or albums or anything like that. Um, I would try to choose individual songs first and drag them in here. And like like this one, I tried to download it. It wouldn't download and it says no results. So what you need to do is you need to write, actually go up to... Um, to the top where it says mode and select record now if you have a lower um, if you have a lower version or older version of spotty DL instead of the 0 0.9.2.3 or something like that um, then it's not going to work um, so now that I have mode recorded selected I'm going to go down to the song right click it again and press record song okay now that the song is actually done 
automatically it's going to encode to an MP3 or whatever that you made it to be. Um, and when it's done encoding, it's going to read recorded right after, like you see below here, recorded. Um, and when it's done recorded, like it just did now, you can right click it, show in your Explorer or show in Spotify. Most likely, again, you're going to probably go into your Explorer to check it out. And as you can see, not only does it record just like the downloader, um, it also um, takes the um, cover um, art artwork of the actual song. So I can preview it. As you can see, it works. Um, and like all my other songs, if not, if you guys don't have uh, the same um, prefaces, you can actually make all your songs go into your iTunes automatically. Um, like I can double click this, or I can um, do something else, which I'm going to show you in a second. But once I double click that, it will automatically open my iTunes and play the song. should be playing uh, don't know why I didn't that was a fail alright so let's click it again like you see there it actually plays um, and I can click that on my iTunes and I could just look at the actual um, the, the actual artwork while you know while I play the song, while I play the song. so um, so that's that. Um, I mean, that's basically all you need to know. And, oh yeah. So if you want to play and you want it to automatically open to your iTunes, um, there should be other things here. When you right click the song, you can go to open with and click iTunes or you can choose default program like I have and it probably should be in the recommended programs or you can go to other programs and look for it there or you can go and browse the program and try to find it there as well um, and yeah guys um, that's it that's how you do it um, subscribe and uh, peace out